And so you so you all moved into this location. This is known as Rockstone's Rock office. office. Yeah, it used to be office. known as the office. Yes, it used okay. to act, it was at, at the office. The office. At yes. the office. And a very good friend of mine, peace be on to brother Abdul. And uh brother Abdul, Sierra Leone, you Sierra Leone. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. brother Abdul, he's the one to pass it on because he was moving yeah. back to Sierra Leone. But before this, I used to hang out here all the time. Actually, so, let know, me tell you, I introduced him this place. I used to, you know I used to, I used to come this, before she's you. She's the party girl. You know so what, you know, party. I totally forgot that. Yes, I did. I was, of course, I was at the party. party. Yeah, I used to, I used yeah. to come here a lot. And then, so, yeah. that's how come resident. And then when he came, and then, of course, yeah. he realized, oh, all his guys, all, all his my friends, friends and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then he became his hangout And the well. owner was somebody that I, I knew from oh, way yeah. back. So you, and then you felt comfortable, I guess, yeah. when you were starting to pass it on. I mean, we, I was here so much, they put, they put my picture on the wall. Yeah, we see. No, not this one. I put this one up. You know, used to be in there, and yeah. and so people would always ask if I had shares in the joint. You know, so God, you know, God speaks. You know, yeah. speaks, we spoke it into existence, and uh, oh, so then we came into some money, yeah. and of course at this time I'm not running wild like you know, still wild, but you but know, not running wild. Yeah, yeah. So you know, we, because well, actually when he told me the first time. I Nah, she, like, she nah, was like, nah. I was opposed. I was she was like, thank you. I'm, like, I'm already party. Thank you. And I'm going to go to the party. Spot. Really? <laughs> I'm going to go to the spot and party. Now you got to make you sure the people party. You jump <laughs> from the fire. Yeah, so initially it was like, ah, then, well, he convinced me. Yeah. And it wasn't a bad decision at all. No. No, 12 years later. It was actually years, a though. very good decision. And we're still we, here. Yeah, and you're open, but every day pretty much. Yeah, um, now yeah. pretty much every day, six and a half days in a week. Yeah, before, yeah. you know, we used to run it like a club. We used to run it like a nightclub right inside of there. We used to be ram. I'm going to give you some pictures so you can. Okay. And then we went next door. That's Grandpapa's. Mm -hmm. And then we went upstairs. And we got corporate after work. Up here. Yeah, that's called after work. Oh, wow. So, so the way doing. we did it is one entity, but we yeah. gave it different names. Names. So you have different And that was very functions. strategic. Yes. Yeah, so, so we can so yeah. as we speak, we can actually hold five different functions at the same, same time. time. So Grandpa Paz is, yeah. is, is, is the is the uppity joint. That's where <laughs> all the Hollywood uppity. folks, you know, what I mean, you, you yeah. walk in here, have that's you, the sexy spot, right? That's the right? right? spot right yeah, there. The ballers, okay. you know. So at any day you walk in, it'd be Idris Elba sitting there, or White Clubs on, or you know whoever. You know, I'm it's, take it's a, a nice little. Leave. I'm yeah, gonna nice little. Stick my head in there, see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, it don't look nothing like it used to. Though. I know. It's, 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 I, I send you the picture. Okay. And, you and then, of course, this was like the general population. Understood. Mm -hmm. And then you had the outdoors. And then, as time went on, you know, styles change, and more places open up. So we got to, we have to reinvent ourselves. Yes. Yeah. So we did after work because as we got older. You know, well, I was already old when I came in there, you know, but she got older and then, you know, the clientele started to flip. Exactly. So now her age group, you know, they congregate upstairs. They are young entrepreneurs and doctors and, you know. So more of a professional. Yeah, very professional. Yes, that's right, right, very professional yeah. vibe. Because I came with the ruckus, you know, I, I came with the, just, the boom play yeah. and then it went into some Hollywood. So you, so you were 90s. Um, as far as my age? No, 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 oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, you know, no, no, <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, oh, as far that, as that no, great no. Grandpa. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, no, I, I, I ran through all, all the stages. So you were 80s? Yeah, we run, ran through 80s. 80s, 80s 90s. 90s. 2000. Yeah, I mean, everything. Everything, because like He's we said before, party. I'm still, I'm still that dude. <laughs> and remember, these kids, they grew up to my music. Well, some of them were probably made to your music. Exactly. <laughs> you know, people, yeah, you're right. People found their wives here. Yeah, I'm going to say that. That's so, how it goes down. Yeah, so after a while now, I, I became, you know, the, I, the, the dude that would not go away. Because every time, and of course, I kept it fresh. You know, because, you know, I put music out every now and then just to remind Just to them, remind them. But you, but know. you know who you remind me of back in the States? And you may have heard of him because you're familiar with my area, but Chuck Brown. Oh, come on, Chuck. Chuck, yeah. Chuck, is, Chuck is the OG. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, so Chuck he's is the, the godfather OG. of Go-Go. Yeah, Go-Go. Chuck is the OG. And then so when, anytime this yep. is... I, I, I remember when, uh, many years ago in New York, I was talking to this sister from your side, and I had never heard the expression, work the wall. <laughs> I said, what are you talking about? Because the Go-Go came on, and she, you know, she said, nobody's there, so she said, she worked the wall. I said, okay. 
you know, yeah, Chuck. But Chuck you know what that means, though. Yeah, I know what that means. Oh, okay, okay. I just want to make sure. I want to make sure. Because people don't stand on the wall. Well, I, I was like, know, like, I know, no, that's not quite what that means. Yeah, but, um, yeah, man. So, yeah, Chuck is, uh, yeah, that's so close. But you see, uh, did Chuck invent the go-go sound? That sound that he, that sound that we know. I feel like busting loose. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's his. Chuck he made his. Yeah. Go go, you know. Of course, you had EU, EU, and Rance, and, yep, yep. and Junkyard, and Backyard, and you had. We all had the whole Go Go squad up in here, man. Really? Yo, I'm gonna send you some video. <laughs> we had them name? with our homeboy. What's his name? Oh man, big R&B singer, but he from your side. Tony Terry or somebody? No. Tank? We had just music. No, not Tank. Yeah, what's his name? Genuine. I mean, not Genuine. Oh, the nice. other one. Oh man, what's from his DC? name? Yeah, he, he he got a little Black Panther type vibe. But he, but he, yeah, he's an R and B singer, man. He's on my what's up. Okay, all right. yeah. But he, he came yeah. with a whole squad, so okay. he, he let it, and it was amazing because a lot of my workers had never heard Gogo. Yeah, Gogo's his own. And 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 Gogo got the African vibe yeah, in it. All the way. So all the guy in is like my workers was like, oh, this is dope, but they never heard the sound before, and they had all the dance moves and. They got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was dope.